Hey, hey everyone, everyone. Welcome, welcome back, back to, to Five Minute Eats, and we are in the midst of Vanilla Ice Cream Week here on Five Minute Eats. Today, we have got a little bit of a premium kind of brand. This is the Oberweiss Super Premium Ice Cream Vanilla, regular old vanilla, not bean or French kind, because we don't want anything to hide the mediocrity. It is $5.99 for one pint, which ties it with the most expensive per ounce of the week at 37 cents per ounce. And they have very minimalist packaging. Now, Oberweiss is an interesting company because it's actually local. Now, I don't know if they do stuff outside of Illinois, but the thing about them is that they do a couple of things. First thing is they have the restaurant where you can go get milkshakes and all kinds of dairy products. Uh, number two, they deliver milk and all that kind of stuff to your door in a glass bottle, like old fashioned milkman kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. They do that. They have like lemonade and all that kind of stuff. Yep. Iced tea. Now, they also sell at the grocery store their ice cream their teas, all this kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So they do a little bit of everything, right? Yeah. And it's supposedly premium dairy, premium super ice cream. Super premium. Super premium vanilla ice cream like this. Mm -hmm. And so we figured throw this in there because it's got to be good, right? Yeah. And guys, if you're new to our channel, basically we review everyday grocery items. So before you spend your hard-earned money, let us tell you if it's worth it. Let's try this out. If you'd like to support this channel, the easiest way to do that is using our Amazon links the next time you shop there. All right guys, welcome back, our rating system. Thumbs up right again, thumbs down we would not. So for me, this is a thumbs up. This is a pretty good ice cream. Is it super premium? I don't know. Now, what I like about this is that it doesn't melt very quickly like the Tillamook, but it does melt. And so you have a little bit of the liquid vanilla ice cream and the ice, which I kind of like. Now, it's got a good sweetness level to it. The only thing I don't like about this is the fact that it's got a just a little bit of a maybe like a sour aftertaste, just slight. Not really digging it, but thumbs up. If you like what we're doing here, please consider sending us super thanks. It helps us continue to provide more amazing content. Hmm. Alrighty, for me, this one is going to be a thumbs up. Not tepid, not overjoyed, but a solid thumbs up. This is a good vanilla ice cream. I, agree. I feel like we're like turning up the dial with each one with the vanilla intensity because this one so far for the week has tasted the most like vanilla. Like it was very noticeable throughout and I liked that. This had a good texture. I did like that it had kind of a little bit of creaminess with the like melty parts, but then there was still the solid chunks that were like staying frozen. I liked that part. The um, overall texture and flavor and sweetness combo, I feel like is all coming together to create like a good solid vanilla ice cream. I wouldn't say it's the like best I've ever had yet because we're not done with the week. There could be a better one, but so far for the week, this is the best. And here's the thing also, cause I mentioned this in the Ben and Jerry's one, cause they had like um, in Ben and Jerry's, they had a couple funky ingredients. This one also has the guar gum plus locust bean gum and the carrageenan, which I think are all thickening agents or at least some of them are. So I wonder if that's where the aftertaste is coming in because I also taste a little something lingering in the aftertaste. I wouldn't even call it sour. I, I don't know what to call it, but there's like something back there that's not entirely just a vanilla ice cream flavor. So that's why I'm not like super overjoyed, but for the initial flavor, this is the best of the week so far. To sum it up, thumbs up, thumbs up. And if you guys buy from Amazon, use our Amazon link. The reason is when you do that, we get 10 cents, 50 cents, possibly even a dollar, which means we can continue to review things. All right, guys, that's the video. If you like what we're doing here, definitely check out our other channel, Food Prep Inc. And don't forget to give us a like and subscribe.